Okay. Uh, uh, one of the things that uh, uh, I enjoy the most when I do these is uh, I could get into some other things right now if you'd like, but uh, uh, one of the predominant questions before we get into my favorite part, which is question and answer. So while I'm uh, going through this one, you can uh, think up uh, a question you'd like to ask, and I hope I'll be able to uh, uh, answer it for you. <laughs> One of the things that we get is, uh, uh, I get it all the time, of course, uh, well, what can I do to increase my range? You know, that's the most predominant question you're going to ask me. <laughs> and uh, um, uh, I have an advice on that because uh, uh, when I was uh, a teenager, one of the things I used to like to do, and I just did it for fun because I was trying to learn the instrument better, but I didn't realize that I was increasing my range by doing it. That's to take your favorite song. You know the one that when you get the, uh, uh, you, uh, your horn out of the case and you're playing uh, and you're just fooling around and, and you have some favorite tune, I don't care what it is, but especially if it's a ballad. All right, something with uh, uh, kind of long notes uh, in it. And um, let me give you an example of it because you don't own any note in the upper register unless you can play it romantically, right? Uh, uh, the worst word is screech trumpet. <laughs> God, I hate that. <laughs> and, and yet, to tell you the truth, there's a place for it, just like every sound that can, comes out of any instrument has a sound in music. It's just where it's played and where it's placed, you know. But uh, I have a, uh, a brief demonstration on how to increase the center of your range. Try to think that way, whatever your middle note, right? If that, if that goes up, the other guy goes up, rather than trying to hammer up these uh, 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 at the top of your very range, and yet now you try for get a half tone higher, you know, because all you're going to do is press harder and break some rules and have a temporary success, you know. We don't want that, we want um, a ongoing success, okay. In order to play romantically, you can't press too hard, right? An old tune, Stardust, Hoagy Karma. That's what I used to like when I was uh, about 13 years old. But sounds like I'm playing high. I stop. Yeah, just rest for a moment. Then go back at it again. Uh, you don't want it to sound like you're struggling because you're playing a love song, right? Or something romantic, you know. Okay, so. So instead of part of your register because you are now hearing a different center for your own range. Your own range is very personal. There, uh, you know, instruction books throughout history have uh, uh, used to tell you what the highest note is. You read the newest ones, they tell you, because they don't know. You know, and uh, at one point it gets silly, you know, and uh, 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 nobody wants to hear a 
quadruple C, right? I mean, what, what would you use it for? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Get a date. Call your dog, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, uh, by doing that, eventually you uh, uh, you uh, uh, um, are owning those notes. And, um, and not only that, that becomes your middle register. Get it? All right, and, uh, but as soon as you hear this, Jazz 